willkommen bei EPIC, heute IBA 2019, Eagle-Stand zusammen mit Todd. Todd, nice to meet you. Thank you. Show us the new products, please. All right, like, what I'd like to talk to you about today is kind of the evolution of the vest systems at Eagle Industries over the years. So, what we traditionally did is we tried to make tough, durable vests that would last a lifetime using heavy weight Corduras, 1,000 denier, that type of thing, with pouch attachment ladders, and they were large, they had large uh, you know, uh, silhouette of soft armor. Uh, with the war in Afghanistan, people walking high altitudes, having to carry large amounts of weight, the plate carrier kind of became uh, you know, synonymous with Eagle. And what we've kind of done over the years has gone from a, a kind of a standard plate carrier like you see here where it's 500 denier Cordura, standard with pouch attachment ladders. You know, seems small and lightweight, but we found ways to really, you know, enhance every aspect of, of carrying body armor and equipment. So what we've kind of evolved into now is a lightweight carrier that incorporates all the newest and latest fabrics that are available. We found that if you made like a vest out of Hypalon, which is such as this here, 18 and 35 ounce Hypalon, it was great in certain areas. Some parts just made it heavy. And uh, so, same thing with the laminates. Same thing with, you know, 10 years of Cordura. Four-way stretch was always great, but it was, it was good when you put it in the right place. So what we'll kind of do now is we incorporate Hypalon in the shoulders because we can perforate it. We don't have to sew it, make it thick. And it's durable so it, enough to hypalon? Yes, it is. It's so durable we can we can punch a bunch of holes in it. This is great because for the first time you go from something like this to this, you can get a really good cheek to stock weld on your weapon. Uh, you know, it, it works great you know, for every aspect of a, you know a, a mission scenario. The shoulder pads. We used to make them very large because we'd run communication wires yeah. and all that kind of stuff for it. And that kind of encumbered the use of any kind of uh, additional things like the ergo, which I'm going to discuss later. But 520E four-way stretch from Tweave. Just a little sleeve of that over some Velcro. It makes it great. It feels wonderful. Tweave 520E four-way stretch around the plate pockets. Gives you a nice fit, no slop. We also incorporate that, you know, um, in other areas of other, uh, you know, in our pouches and things. Squadron laminate. Take two Cordura's, melt them together, allows you to perforate it, gives you a nice, you know, uh, structure or something without, without making it thick and heavy. So you can kind of do kind of a quasi a skeletal cummerbund that, that works wonderfully. The other thing that we've done is we try to, all across the board here, we try to use the same theme. It, what the theme is, you're gonna see here, whether it's on a chest rig or it's on a vest, we have these front flaps that are removable. So, lots of Velcro here, but one row of pouch attachment ladders, and this becomes either just a place to you know, a kangaroo for carrying mags, but it's also a flap if you're gonna use a cummerbund. Like, for example, if you get this vest, the ULV tactical vest, you'll get this cummerbund, but you'll also get this small elastic. Because this is a split bar, you can take it off and then switch over. And then these front flaps, there are nine of them now. And as you can see, kind of down here, there's all kinds of different options for these front flaps. So it, whether it's no problem to downgrade it from or here upgrade to it, here yeah. or yeah. upgrade it from here to here. That's correct. So say that um, say that you have a vest and you decide you want to use a chest rig. Well, then you can just take your front flap off of your your uh, carrier, put it right on your chest rig. Or if you had a kangaroo, just leave it nice and flat there, and then you might have the FB style where you got you know the inserts. So it gives you all kinds of latitude across the board. And then what we've done is on all of our pouches, which are on the rack on the other side, we use all the, that same theme. So where it's applicable, we use Hypalon. Where it's applicable, we use four-way stretch. Where it's applicable, we use the uh, traditional Cordura. 
and, uh, and, it, and it works awesome. The, the other thing is we've kind of gone away because, you know, Molly has gotten so much better that we're able to go from the traditional, you know, thick, thick webbing that we're sewing a piece of plastic in between and a big snap to really like tuck straps made out of hypalon. So the offset of your, you know, your uh, pouches yes. is a lot less than it was less, yeah. in, in the past. So, so Eagle didn't sleep the last year, so no, no, no. it rolled with the product. So what I'd like to segue to right now is the load lift, which is now a uh, performance system. So we did a tender for the US military where we had to do a, a, a plate carrier system that had a load lift because guys were carrying a lot of you know mags and frags and radios and everything else like that. And there was a whole, a whole bunch of load on the front, plus with all the plates and everything, it was very heavy. So we designed this. This was just a load lift system, basically a carbon fiber frame sheet with a hinge in it and a belt, acting like a backpack would, you know, to kind of take and putting all the load on the hips. But what we found is um, we were suggested by the U.S. Navy to meet with this chiropractic doctor who, uh, you know, worked on guys who had back injuries from carrying all this heavy stuff. He said that he could help us make this into something better, a lot better. Matter of fact, just from a load lift system to a performance enhancing system. But so, in, in case when you have a, a fast recharge system on your, you, you got it on the west? So what happened when you want to take it apart in the west? You have also open up the, because this acts as a, also as a, Correct. as a combat belt. Right. Yes. So will it, you have to open up the belt and... And then, yeah, yeah, yes. So, so what we evolved into is this performance system that you see here. So this originally had a belt when we were first designing it, and it, it was, uh, just going to enhance this and what we learned is uh, you know we didn't even need the belt so what we're doing here is if my demonstrator can come in this system can put be put in any plate carrier so as you can see there's just the velcro at the shoulders and then we've tacked it into the pouch attachment ladders in the in the back of the vest. That's the only thing required to hold this thing in place. So what we have, if you can go over here for just a second, is we have a standoff with tension that gives a space in between your back plate and the vest. So you get, I don't know if you can see my fingers through here, but you get ventilation with this Drylex material, which is really great at moisture vapor transfer and uh, wicking moisture. This gets wet from your sweat and this air blowing through here, it gives you actually a cooling effect, which is an added byproduct. Now, if you're operating and you feel that you don't have enough standoff here, Grab these two tabs, which would be hanging out of the vest right here, and you just pull this, and it increases the offset. Yes. This also gives you impact mitigation. So when you're, you know, running yes, through you, rocks or jumping, he doesn't feel his weight when you get hitting shot. against his spine. Mm -hmm. The added benefit of this is, as you put in the tension here, you can see the tension build in the shoulders, taking away the need for the belt. So. We've had lots of tests and studies on this, and we've learned that, you know, uh, any kind of thermal imaging that we did, there was a massive change in how, you know, a, a thermal picture would normally be, this would be all red. But now, you know, all through the whole back, it's, it's nice and blue because this guy's getting, you know, ventilation. If you also notice, um, he's standing more erect than you normally would. You know, he's standing up straight because this, this adjusts his posture. So now he's able to, you feel like you can fill your lungs better, we'll take bigger breaths, that oxygenates his blood. And it also hooks the front plate more to your belly. Correct. So at the end of the day, 
his performance has increased because he has ventilation, he's cooler, he can take larger more out of you know, uh, he's, he's heavy for a wreck, so it, you know, there's not so much, uh, you know, pressure on his back and his spine. We've taken out all the jarring mitigation, you know, his plates smacking into his body, and, uh, you know, it is a game changer, it really is. Yeah. Sounds good. Makes sense. For real. Yeah. Um, ich erkläre kurz noch mal, geht noch mal drüber in Deutsch. Ähm, Igel hat die letzten Jahre einfach äh, versucht, mit der Zeit zu gehen und einfach die verwendeten hochqualitativen Materialien, die sie verwendet, einfach noch mal eins draufzusetzen. Und der Standard ist einfach in den letzten Jahren mit neuen Materialien, modernen Materialien, einfach wieder äh, redesigned worden. Wir haben hier extrem. Äh, ein robustes Hyperlohn, das sogar äh, eine Lochstruktur mit Verträgen eingebaut. Also der, der Plattenträger ist wesentlich leichter als der Standardplattenträger, der trotzdem immer noch gut ist, immer noch state of the art. Wie gesagt, was es gibt, ist einfach ein abnehmbares Frontpanel. Jedes Chestrick ist down, dass man nur die Platten direkt am Gürtel trägt bzw. am Mann. Das kann mit jedem Chestrick bzw. mit jedem Plattenträger passieren. Was eigentlich Mehr interessant ist, ist ganz einfach, ähm, ist ein Haltesystem, das Eagle jetzt entwickelt hat für den Plattenträger, das einfach von der Hüfte ab den Plattenträger mit der Hackballistik nach oben wegstützt, wie beim Rucksack halt. Ähm, für den Bereich, wo man einfach auf den Feld verzichten möchte, weil er einfach zu aufwendig ist, gibt es von Eagle jetzt ein Performance Kit. Das hier der Kollege gerade trägt und der Todd auch gut erklärt hat hat den Vorteil, dass einfach der Rückenbereich durch das Performance Kit äh, hinterlüftet wird. Du, man selbst keine Wärme an den Plattenträger abgibt, aber es geht in erster Linie um die Hinterlüftung und ganz einfach äh, eine Haltungskorrektur, die das Performance Kit praktisch bewirkt, indem man es hier über die Straps einstellt. Das heißt, dieser Bereich hier drückt den kompletten Plattenträger in die richtige Position und verbessert erstens die Haltung und die Straps hier sorgen einfach dafür, dass der ganze Bereich wesentlich besser hinterlüftet ist. Auf jeden Fall, was, was absolut geil ist für Leute, die wirklich den ganzen Tag ihren Plattenträger am Mann haben, checkt es auf jeden Fall aus. Eagle.com One other thing that uh, I'd like you to talk about uh, for Eagle fans is the Eagle Stocking Program. For the first time in 45 years, Eagle Industries is stocking these items. So find your nearest distributor and you should be able to get these items without having big MOQs. In other words, you don't have to buy 25 to get one for the first time. If any of the items that are showcased here, you can uh, order up through your distributor and uh, get them from Europe and everywhere actually. Eagle macht einen neuen Schritt und geht in praktisch in ein Lagerprogramm, was so viel heißt, dass äh, Distributoren in Europa jetzt Eagle als Lagerware anbieten können und es nicht mehr explizit für einen Auftrag fertig wird. Sonst musste man mal schauen, wo man irgendwie was herbekommt oder über ganz verschlungene Wege. Eagle geht jetzt einen Schritt weiter und macht das Ganze auch für den zivilen Markt besser erreichbar und wird definitiv dieses Jahr äh, Distributoren dafür finden die dann lagermäßig Eagle Stuff anbieten, was richtig cool ist. Ganz klar, Mindset auf der IWA 2019. Bam! Und dann Vollgas!